Do the holidays such as Christmas and Easter, do they have any other meaning and do they have pagan roots? Yeah, okay. Well, that's a very popular question. Um, and, uh, you know, the pagan origins of Christmas and Easter that you find in YouTube videos and online, the, 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 the um, surgeons of all of that or the I guess the popularity of those arguments um, don't really have proof. There, there's really no proof of that. So there's no real proof of the winter uh, solstice uh, happening December 25th. There's no real proof of Easter coming from uh, uh, Ishtar or Ashtoreth. Um, actually, Easter came, it, uh, the name is a derivative of an Anglo-Saxon goddess. And most people don't know that, but it is a goddess of fertility, uh, Ostra is what it is. And so people just want to be smart sometimes or want to know when they don't. And if you don't have proof proof, then just claiming it or guessing at it is, is just not, you know, it's not a good idea. Uh, I Now, of course, there are some trappings of Easter that are pagan uh, when, as it pertains to the goddess of fertility. So, you know, uh, the, the bunny rabbit and the, the, the what is it, the, the eggs and all of that. Of course that is, but the resurrection of Jesus Christ actually happened, okay? And so because the resurrection of Jesus Christ happened and because we have that dominion here in the earth, the date we choose to celebrate it is just the day we choose to celebrate it. Uh, God doesn't have a problem with us picking that weekend and calling it Resurrection Sunday. Uh, I don't ascribe to calling it Easter just because of Ostra, but um, the actual celebration of that weekend should be the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and not, you know, the. And we should exclude the pagan uh, trappings from it. But we have to be very careful with the pagan roots of, of certain things uh, because almost everything in our culture is pagan because we live in a pagan society. Uh, I mean, you can't go to the Capitol building without looking up and seeing pagan gods and goddesses. Um, that's just the way our culture is. So, uh, and then trying to pick the exact date Jesus was born is impossible because there's no documentation to tell you what day that was. Just like our birthdays, we have a birth date in number but we don't have a birthday because our calendar is linear and it doesn't work that way. So it's a different day every year, linearly. So once you get into, you know, the uh, uh, go deep or delve deep into it, you find out that a lot of this, we have to depend on the grace of God and we have the dominion to pick days and say, hey, this day I want to celebrate this person, this day I want to celebrate, you know, this person. But like I said in the beginning, you go to YouTube, you find people trying to link you know, uh, the, the, the worship of Tammuz and try to make Jesus equal to Tammuz and those kind of things using the parallels of the, you know, the old uh, societies that had all the different gods and goddesses to mimic Christ. They try to link them and say Christ. I mean, I've heard Christ, Jesus, the word Jesus means Zeus and you have to call him, you know, uh, Yeshua. And I've heard all of these things. But I'll tell you, John, I've traveled this world and I've cast thousands and thousands of demons out of people with the name Jesus and they react to it. And uh, I have a video, The Truth Behind Hip Hop Part 8, where I talk about uh, our energy when we speak and how it's not necessarily the words that we frame, but it's the it's the energy or the intent of what we're saying that, you know, that uh, uh, projects. And it's the same with our recognition of Christ and Resurrection Sunday. If we recognize Jesus Christ uh, on Easter Sunday or whatever they want to call it, we give praise to him. We talk about him and then sinners come up and want to be saved. Is their salvation valid on that day or it, because it had pagan roots? Is it not? And so those are things that we have to consider. Some of this stuff is just it's just not important, you know. <laughs> and um, but I do think that the. Uh, the pagan, what Constantine did, I think our society at, in America still tries to do, and that is link pagan things with our Christian celebrations to discredit them, to cause Christians to fight over them and to, you know, uh, distract us from what we're doing. You know, um, it used to be in, during Christmas, you know, everyone would be talking about Jesus Christ. Now it's Xmas.
And now it's about the season. You know, I, uh, I think Star it's Starbucks who refused to put Christmas on on their stuff this past year. So now it's just a season thing. They still want to profit off of it. They still have the colors and uh, and all of that, but they won't put Christmas because Christ's name is in it. And so for Christians to bicker over that, I think we need to be trying to keep Christ in everything that we can keep him in, you know. Now, I'm I'm totally against Halloween, you know, because I'm Halloween is a day set aside for Satan worship. I'm not into taking that day and trying to use that for God because the intent of that holiday is to uh, invoke Satan's presence. And I think it, it gets dangerous when you take something like that and try to use that as a, an opportunity for us to get together and worship God or whatever in the name of that holiday. But these other holidays were actually brought in and try and they're trying to link it to the birth of Christ as we celebrate it. And so I think those, you know, those differences need to be brought out and they need to be understood. I celebrate Christmas. I like the atmosphere, the songs, man, some of the songs are just wonderful. And I'm not talking about Rudolph, but the, <laughs> the songs about the Savior, I think they're wonderful. And uh, but I think a lot of people. And, you know, I talk about this all the time. So, you know, our audience are those from my church. This is just all stuff we talk about all the time. Uh, but even some of the, uh, you know, Hebrew Israelites and different ones who hate the holidays, it's for the very reason they chose the religion that they're in. They're in an angry religion to express their anger because of fatherlessness, neglect, abuse, whatever happened to them. They haven't gotten past that. And so they want to be in a system that is angry. They want to be in a system that, you know, they can express their anger. And so they go against holidays and any opportunity for family to get together because they're angry at family. And so a lot of people are doing that, you know, and I think that's it's important for us to realize that we need to forgive. Once you forgive and really allow people in your heart, you'll want to take days to celebrate. You'll want to take days to sit at the table and let's just eat and, you know, let's do those things. Um, I, I think a lot of those things get in the way uh, of that. And another thing I wanted to bring up was Jeremiah 10, because a lot of people link that to the Christmas tree and bringing the tree in the house. I don't know if you've read that passage, but it talks that particular passage is describing uh, how they make idols. So it's describing the process of making idols. You go out into the forest, you bring it, uh, you get bring in a tree, you carve it, and then you deck it in gold and silver, those kind of things. Well, the carving was actually carving the God to be shaped as, or the wood to be shaped as whatever God it was you were serving. So these were actually carving of wood to create an idol nailing the idol to a plate to make it stand up and then decking it with gold and silver or, or its attire, its royal apparel is what, what it was. A lot of people think that's talking about bringing a Christmas tree in the house and decorating it, and it, it, it's totally not. So a lot of those things, like I said, are, are just outlandish. And another thing is our whole society is so pagan, if we're gonna get that petty, then Sunday we can't have church because that's, Sunday, the S-U-N, that's the day that was uh, where they recognize the sun. Uh, we can't look at planets. Jupiter's a god. Mars is a god. Uh, days of the week, you know, uh, Sat Saturday is Saturn Day. It was the day set aside for worship to Saturn. So there's going to be pagan roots to certain things, you know, but uh, I think we have to just, you know, allow God to help us and, and, and uh, through a pure heart. And, I, and like I said, I don't dog out people that um, go against it, but don't dog me out because I'm doing it, you know, because I like the time with my family and I don't have a problem celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ as the wise men did when they brought him gifts. We bring gifts to each other uh, and we bring the gift of our own life to it. So I, I just think we just have to be careful not to, you know, uh, shun those that want to do it or shun those that don't want to do it. You know.